So what do you love most about Cross Park? It's probably the handbell choir or the soft chairs, one of the two. The thing that I love most about Cross Park is probably the preaching. The sound, biblical, weekly teaching that we get. The fact that the gospel is preached every Sunday at Cross Park. Christ is proclaimed boldly and faithfully every week. It's the teaching, which is amazing. It's seeing our children grow and thrive and be invested in. Also the community um, in life groups and Bible studies. We have just found a tremendous community at Cross Park. Cross Park's our family. You know, we don't have any family in town and um, they just brought us in and treated us like family since day one. We're not a church that thinks that we have everything together, we figured out how to do ministry just right, but we're a church who uh, knows our flaws as people, but knows that we're redeemed by God's grace alone. I love several things about our church. The first is our story to go from not existing six and a half years ago, having Uptown send us out with 75 people, and now regularly having between 250 and 300 people on a Sunday. It's really encouraging just seeing how God's at work and seeing the growth He's given us. I also really love our people. We have great people. We have great officers and leaders, people who serve selflessly each week, who love what Jesus is doing and want to be a part of it. And finally, I love the heart of our church for the people around them, for South Charlotte and the world. I love the way people move towards their neighbors. I love the way people care about mercy and the way people care about missions. Cross Park is involved in missions both locally and globally. Locally, we have a ministry at Sharon Lakes apartment complex where we tutor kids and share the gospel with them. We're also planning a Chinese church plant in South Charlotte. And globally, we're involved in two long-term partnerships both in Asia and Haiti. And we've also sent out missionaries from Cross Park to minister the gospel long term. Six and a half years in, God's been kind to us. He's led us. And yet it's a really good opportunity for us to think again in a fresh way about what our mission and vision is. What is God calling us to do and to be in South Charlotte? And Thrive gives us an opportunity to think and talk about that. Thrive is a generosity initiative to help us prepare for the future to look at what God has been doing in our midst and to understand that we can't just remain stagnant and we want to keep doing the good things we've been doing, but we also want to look towards the future and ask, how can we best fulfill the mission God's called us to do? We realize both from a size standpoint and from a stability standpoint, we can't and won't be at Smithfield forever. Our experience with having to leave Smithfield this summer during the PGA reminded us that we really don't have the ability to say we'll be any particular place for the long term. So one of the reasons we're doing Thrive Now is so that by the year 2020, as we raise money over the next two years, we'll have the ability to find a place and to move out. When we think about what Cross Park will feel like potentially in the future if we have a more stable place, we're hoping for a few things. One. We're hoping to be able to redirect lots of the energies that we currently put towards physical setup towards people ministry. Two, we're hoping that we'll be able to be a place that's more involved in the community than we are now. With a place, we're hoping that we can host things there. We can do things that offer grace to the community in a more tangible way because we're there all week long. Third, we're also hoping that it will feel to the average person in South Charlotte like a place where they can come and thrive. So they can see that true thriving isn't found in a place. True thriving is found in the gospel. And we believe that in our setting, one of the ways that we can help people see that is by having a healthy, safe, thriving place where they can come in and clearly hear the gospel of Jesus each week. The idea of thriving fits really well with our mission of Him we proclaim. Because when Jesus talked about the kingdom of God, He gave several different parables that alluded to the fact that the kingdom would start small, but it would grow. 
Think of a plant. A plant thrives in the sun and in the rain and in the clouds and in the fog, but it's always there. It's always growing no matter what the circumstances are. And then it wants to share its flowers or its fruit or its scent or its shade with everybody around it. I feel like we as Christians are called to do the same thing. We want to share the hope and the joy and the excitement of what Christ has done for us regardless of the circumstances. I think thriving means um, everybody using their gifts and talents and resources for God's kingdom and for each other so that we all benefit from it. As we are called to become more and more like Christ, to be sanctified, we need to replicate His willingness to give everything for us. And if we see God for who He is, for what He has done and what He is doing, there is no way for us to resist the call to become more generous because He demands all of us. He demands our whole lives. Yeah, you have that. Yeah. You got that story at all? We are here to bring glory to God and honor God um, in all that we do. And when we are being generous, we've got our eyes off of us and on to Him. And through that, we can do so much. When we think about what we want to accomplish in the Thrive Initiative, we're saying three categories, people, place, and proclaim. People minister to people. So we want to be able to put some of the money we raise towards more people ministry, uh, likely hiring staff to bolster our children's ministry, youth and families ministries, and even some of our administrative needs. Secondly, place. We need to be able to move to somewhere more permanent and stable outside of Smithfield so we can continue to grow, so we can redirect a lot of our energies to people ministry, and so we can have a place that's even easier to invite our South Charlotte friends to. Third, both of those other things, people ministry and a stable place will allow us to more clearly proclaim the gospel to them. One of the pieces about Proclaim that we're particularly excited about as well is the opportunity to release more money towards missions efforts and to see people place and proclaim through the Thrive Initiative help us get to our long-term vision of Him We Proclaim.